Hello and welcome back to Hayward Junction. Just a bit of a general projects update and a test with the layout. The trap plan control panel is finished using the model railway server controller project I've done a while ago. All the toggle switches have been set up with an individual servo and I've done it so that the position of the switch indicates which direction the point is going. All the code runs on a single UNO and I used a six core cable to provide power and then also take I2C back to the servo controller boards. As I've got the control panel on draw runners, a bit tight in space in my model room, having a single cable makes it much easier to be able to slide in and out. Now it's on to the throttles. I've built a second throttle so me and my mate can have one each and it also allows me to test the broadcast synchronisation. They're not fully assembled yet but I'll get them turned on and so they can connect to the command station. So if you've got multiple throttles, if you've got a big layout, the command station will broadcast for certain updates so all connected throttles can be updated. I'll start by turning on all tracks on one uh, and the other will update too. This also works for individual power buttons as well. Now let's test a loco. I'll just use number one as it's easy. There's no config on this throttle so it will default for F0 to F28. I'll select the loco one on the other throttle. This does have a custom config but it's not for this loco so the functions don't fully match. If the same loco is being controlled by multiple throttles, any matching functions that you press will synchronise regardless if you've got a custom config or on one or the other or not. The speed and direction will also synchronise if you've got the same loco on multiple throttles. All the track is freshly laid so it needs a bit of a clean so to give it a little help. Push and hold for two seconds to do an emergency stop. Uh, this is an emergency stop that stops all locos. There's still a bit more testing to do and I like to try and make some custom icons for the buttons so if you've got any sound locos uh, there'll be some by default but you can always upload your own. Documentation instructions are being worked on so uh, trying to include all the pictures so you can hopefully make your own. It looks a little complicated but once you've got all the 3D printed parts assembly should take roughly 30 minutes. Just need to do a bit of soldering. That's all the updates for now. Hopefully not too much longer. Uh, doing what I can in my free time. Uh, and then the code and the 3D files will be up on GitHub so you'll be free to try and make your own. Thanks for watching.